Are you wondering how to stand out as an engineer, whether that's as a student in your classroom, to your professors and colleagues, during your internships or your first professional career? We're gonna be talking all about that in this video coming up. Hey, 1% Nation, I'm Jake Voorhees, and you are watching the 1% Engineer Show, where we dress real fancy, just plan, psych, where we empower young engineers to rise to the top 1% of their career. And if you're new here, guys, make sure you subscribe because I release videos two or three times a week for engineering success. And if you wanna become a 1% Engineer, guys, and get the 1% Engineer Kit along with access to the Facebook group, follow the link in the description and you can sign up for free. And as always, if you have any questions about your your fall semester guys comment below and I'll make a video just for you so what's up 1% nation I know we just did that video about how to dress as an engineer I didn't have any jackets in that but this video is about how to stand out at work or stand out to your group members in engineering classes or your professors along your engineering journey and the core thesis of this video is how to put in that extra work put in that extra time, show face, show commitment, show dedication to your team, dedication to your studies, dedication to your projects, your work, your office in my situation, and get noticed, gain extra credibility, gain extra authority, gain extra respect, so that you can build awesome relationships, you can stand out, you can get that promotion, you can get that new opportunity as an intern, which most of you are students, that's gonna land you that full-time position, that full-time offer after you finish up this awesome internship. But I wanna start with a story about me and use myself as an example, something that happened to me tonight, and I think that you can deploy this in your life we have a big submission coming up. There's been three, four, five of us working on this project for months and months. And we have to submit 50 pages of plan sheets tomorrow. Tomorrow. So I had to leave work at 4.30, went to this networking event, and I'm driving back home right past the office, and it's about nine o'clock, and I just know that there's a bunch of my team members there. I just have this feeling. So I drive by, yep, all their cars are there. Park right next to them, go upstairs, and what do I do? Put in an extra three hours, see if we can get this thing focused right here so you can see what time it is. Yeah, recording this at 12.37. So yeah, it's a late night, but I wanna get you a video on Saturday, so I'm putting in that time. No different than the hustle than the grind that I'm putting in at work, which is why I'm making this video, because when I was a student, when I was a young professional, when I had internships, I never thought this way, that if you put in extra effort, if you stay late, if you show up early, especially when you have crunch time scenarios, you have deadlines and you have situations where your other group members, your other team members are putting in extra time. Don't be that person who has to leave first. Don't be that person who has other things going on. They just can't put in that extra time. If you guys need to stay late at a lab to finish up a project or, or stay late to make sure some sort of group assignment is finished, whatever. Or if you're an intern, you guys have deadlines or if you're a young professional and you have something that needs to be submitted or say somebody makes a mistake and you guys need to recover from that. Put in that extra time, show that you care, show that you want to be a part of this team, show everyone else that you're ambitious, that you're willing to put in a little bit of pain to be recognized, to stand out, to gain respect, to gain authority in that workplace. And trust me guys, when you do this stuff, whether it's for an engineering team in school or for your internship, whatever, your first job, you're gonna feel so much better. You're just gonna sense it in your conversations after you go through that pain, you go through that battle together in the trenches. You're gonna know that your colleagues, you're gonna know that your classmates respect you this much more because you went to war together. You stayed late till midnight at the office over and over and over again. I remember my senior design teams, we would be in the lab pulling all-nighters over and over and over again because we procrastinated, but we were willing to go through that together. And this builds awesome relationships with teammates. This information is gonna trickle down to professors. They know who is gonna put in this extra work. If you're an intern, you're gonna be in situations where the rest of the team is working extra and you are not necessarily expected to stay late or put in extra time or work on the weekends. But if you do, I guarantee you, you're gonna get a full-time offer. And same thing at the beginning of your career. It is no different. We had someone with us tonight who hasn't even been with the company for a full year. So imagine what his reputation is gonna be like leading forward. Imagine how people are gonna perceive him and his work ethic. 
and everything that he has invested into the company so that he has the best career possible. He cares about his team members, he cares about his own career, he cares about the company, and he's got this figured out, and he's only 22, 23, and this is what you guys need to do as well, this is what you need to keep in mind now as a student, into your internships, into your first time jobs, because this work ethic, this commitment, this dedication to your teams, your colleagues, the people around you, your projects, your companies, your universities, it's all gonna be the same. We're talking about ambition, drive, willingness to put in extra effort, extra hustle to stand out and rise to the top 1% of your field. That's exactly what this community is about. And if you have made it to the end of this video, you know exactly why you're here because you're gonna be among the top 1% engineers when it's your time to shine. So comment below guys and let me know how you are standing out to your colleagues, your classmates, the people that you work with. So this video helped you guys consider subscribing because I release videos two or three times a week for engineering success. And as always guys, thanks for watching the 1% Engineer Show and stay hungry on your quest to become a 1% engineer. Cheers.